Now, now many signs and wonders were regularly done and they're praying for everyone. They're praying and they're seeing change happen. Now, how many people know when change happens in your life, you don't keep it secret? Man, because everybody knew you had that issue. Everybody knew you had that problem. It was something they're they concerned about you for and suddenly you're healed in the name of Jesus. Man, what a powerful thing. And they're coming together and they're all there in one place. They're all at the portico. They're coming from all these different places and the disciples are just praying. The apostles are praying and they're just seeing God work by his spirit, healing one after the other. It says in Acts 5, verse 14 and 16, and more, and more than ever, believers were added to the Lord, both multitudes of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets, it says, and lay them on cots and mats, that as Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on some of them. The people also gathered from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits. And they were, how many? All healed. Now let's take a look at that for a second. Think about that idea. We have this, this image of Peter there walking along Solomon's portico and his shadow healed people. Now here's the thing. I've prayed for a lot of people. I've seen God heal people. I've also not understood all the time whenever I would see someone like my father who was battling with a physical thing himself, pray for another and see them miraculously healed and then he not be healed. I didn't understand all of that. I, I don't know how to, how to hold that intention, but it is a tension in our faith that we believe for healing because God heals. And at the same time, God is sovereign. And so there's a tension that's there and we don't always understand why these things were walking with them. But we see this situation happen here where Peter, full of the Holy Spirit, is it Peter's power that's healing these people? Is it his shadow that's healing somebody? Man, when I walk by people and they're in my shadow, guess what they get? Shade. That's it. That's all they get. <laughs> get nothing else. I'm sorry. I don't know about you. But man, Peter, Peter's on a different one, man. He was on a different one. Because he was so full of the power of the Spirit of God, he was willing to walk by the guy that Jesus walked by. And whenever he reached out to ask for money, he said, look at me. And he, they prayed in the power of Jesus and he lifted them up. And then all these people started getting healed one after the other after the other. Remember, Jesus is back with the Father. They were powered by the Holy Spirit of God. That's what happens whenever the Holy Spirit's in your life on another level. But the first things first, they had to humble themselves and get out of the way so they could be full of the Spirit of God.